Welcome to FM seven uh, FM two thousand and seventeen, my Wigan game, and it's towards the end of January twenty thirty four. I'm playing Wickham, who are in the bottom half of the table, fifteenth to be precise. And I have actually bought another player, Dean Turner from Man City, I believe. Another young kid with potential. I sent my Tyrese Disnose back to Tottenham as he doesn't really fit in with my current plans. There we go for that matter, neither does Roger Craig, but he's managed to get himself back on the bench. My defence is still iffy, especially as Craig Vincent is one of the players back there. My midfield is... I'm sorry, my, my left back is definitely iffy. I'm trying to bring in a player on loan to replace him. Lee Harwood's getting a start at the right wing back. Booster and McGlade are okay in my midfield. Although I would prefer a better roaming playmaker than McGlade, but he'll do. And Wallace is the next one I'm looking to replace with another shadow striker. Luke Price is the young kid I bought in from Newcastle who's played the last game. Looked quite pacey and once he gets the hang of things, could be quite dangerous. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I need another squad number for a player. Dean Turner, the guy I just brought in. You can have number seven for now. But I'm continuing to play this wonderful 370 formation created by the Reckonist. It appears quite effective. And we'll see how well it works out. Oh, that motivated at least a couple of players. And I forgot, am, I the, am I the away team? Yes, I am. I'm playing in my wonderful, very pretty away strip. Which, to be honest, I actually prefer to my home strip, which I think is pretty meh. Whereas the away strip is actually quite nice. And yes, when I started this game, I was in a playoff spot. If I lose it, I'm going to drop back out of the playoffs because it's really tight in the top, about 13 positions one loss and you're out of the playoffs okay and Wigan look Wigan, Wickham look quite effective and that was a rather effective switching of the direction of the play nice clearance by Kennett if Turner had actually thought about that and he might have actually moved back towards the ball. Ah, and that's the problem with my left back. That's why I don't like my left back position, and that's a bad goal to give away. Yes, we were fifth. Now we immediately dropped down to tenth just by conceding a one goal. Yes, Savage definitely needs to be placing. But three defenders there against one attacker and no one moved towards him, no one blocked that. That was just poor. Oh, now Vincent's going to get booked. Hmm, good free kick. Well held by Kennett, but good free kick nonetheless. Oh, and apparently I'm not going to get the ball and be able to go forward. Ever. Okay, I've got the ball. Whoa! That was, uh... Oh, McGlade got the goal. That was just a fluke. And there was no way you could plan for that goal. I'll take it, but... 
bounced off two people before it just landed right in front of McLeod. I'm still a bit worried about Mr. Craig Vincent at the back. Well, I thought Kennett wasn't going to save that. Well done, Kennett, playing out from the back for once, rather than a big hoof upfield to no one in particular. Yes, Harwood needs some support, people. Yeah, five on one, he was never going to be able to pass that to anybody useful because you gave him, once again, no support. At least someone went with the runner in the centre this time. That was better defending. You actually went and followed the men who were running into space. That actually gave me confidence that maybe some of them are actually learning something. Of course, another yellow card is never helpful. Oh, for God's sake! That was complete BS. Well, I obviously wanted to give Wickham a goal, just to make me suffer some more. That does tend to annoy me. Yes, I'm not watching the replay on that. Watching the replays on penalties is pretty pointless to start with. I just normally forget to click the skip button, but that was just complete and utter rubbish. Oh, I'm amazed you didn't give him a penalty for that. Oh, stop letting them get to the ball first, for God's sake. There's more of you than them. Get in the position to intercept the ball and actually do your job. I'm starting to feel like Bill Belichick here with the Patriots. Do your job. Stop worrying about everything else and just do your job. I suppose that'll take the pressure off for the moment, but... Beaten by a dodgy penalty is... Oh, let's give him another penalty. Oh, no, he's not going to put it in the box this time. I expect him to float that in the box and to give him another penalty just because. Yes, I'm getting irritable again. Okay, and this price is shaking off whatever little knock he got. I am amazed that that worked. I thought Whitaker was going to be offside there. Oh, he's marked his birthday with a goal. We can feel the goal was offside. It wasn't. There was a player playing Whitaker onside. Or well, maybe not. Maybe that was a bit dodgy. A bit of motivation. I'm not going to. Actually, I am going to take Whitaker off. He's just not having a good day. And Turner hasn't been seen so far in this match, but he's going to get the full run out, or at least a run out for a bit longer anyway. Maybe we can do something to turn this round. Maybe we can't. But a tackle would be, be useful. Well done. Yes, I love the way they stand one yard away from the guy with the ball and then get the pass as though that's helpful. Well, I have a ball to Harwood to chase. Perhaps if you put some pressure on the goalkeeper, Harwood. That was a lucky ball.
Good ball. Nice goal, Turner, on your debut. That was a well-worked move with Price. And that was a well-taken goal, because I thought you'd go to the other side of the keeper. And Mr Price is going to need to come off. We'll put McNamara on. Poor Price, only his second game for me. After I rescued him from the hell that is Newcastle. Even though they beat me earlier in the season. And he doesn't have the potential I thought because I didn't get a chance to fully scout him because I needed a player in a hurry. So he possibly is not going to last quite as long as... Whoa, that was close. Up front is maybe I hoped when I bought him, but he only cost me 100 and... 150,000? Yeah, 150,000. Whereas Turner cost me 275,000, which is still not quite spending the... well, the, about the 6 million or so I'm going to get from the Dickinson sale, eventually. Oh, here comes Savage. Yeah, useless ball. You've got to be replaced, Savage. You are a... In an anchor dragging down this team. That was a bad ball, Robson. I'll take it, but it was bad play by you. Oh, to Savage again, what's the point? Oh, that would be the point. Oh, unlucky. Good save. Well worked move. Well, apparently they're making a substitution. Well, maybe not. That's what they were. Yes, apparently they did. Their semi-injured player has now gone off and replaced by somebody else. Of which they gave me no notification box saying there'd been a substitute substitution. But so be it. Get out of the way, ref. That was your fault, ref, for wandering around like a moron in the centre of my midfield. I don't know what to attempt to tackle that was. Where's that ball going to end up? Whoa! That was a good goal. Fair play to the guy. That was a fine strike by Hodge. First time volley hits the post and in. Yeah, some... Some things you just can't argue with, and that was that was unstoppable as far as the keeper's concerned. Oh great, now Wallace is going to go and get himself a yellow card. Anybody else want to go and get themselves a yellow card? Oh well done, Savage. Throw it straight to the opposition, why don't you? Lucky Brewster can tackle, because... If they'd scored then, Savage, that would have been the end of your career. The end of your career may still be coming up, but... That would have been the instant end of your career. You would have spent the rest of your contract playing in my reserves. You may still. Great. Whoa, that was close. Right now I will accept a 3-3 draw. Yeah, hey, uh, someone else is going to get themselves booked. Apparently it's going to be Savage. You throw this to the opposition, Savage, you're done. It wasn't even like the guy, the opposition guy was moving for the last... Oh, Savage, you moron. Yeah, you're done. Once again, if, especially if I lose this game.
you've got all the ball skill, talent, anticipation and vision of a blind water rhinoceros. And I've dropped out of the playoffs again. But it's so tight up there that any non-victory will drop me drop any team out of the playoff slots. And Price has got injured for oh, five to six days. That's okay. And I paid Mansfield twenty six thousand dollars. Sorry, twenty six thousand pounds. Right. Yes, I really need the guy I've offered made a loan offer for to come in. Who's this guy? Oh, right. Yes. Forgot about him. Another attacking midfielder. Which will then Actually I need to go look at this guy. Where do you play mainly? Yes, another shadow striker. Good. And apparently you're better than pretty much everybody else I've got. So first touch. Not so good with the long shots. And your finishing's a bit iffy, but we will see how you do. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed or found my frustration enjoyable. And hopefully I will see you down the road.